y'all welcome back to my channel if you haven't run across me before hey i go by beauty let's just go ahead and jump right into the video i know y'all been waiting on this one so let's just cut to the chase but before i do that y'all know i do have to give out my little disclaimer anything i say in this video i found online i'm not making this video to bash or slander anybody's name okay y'all so let's go ahead and get into the video yes y'all i listen to y'all comments i read y'all comments i know y'all really wanted to see this video on the infamous peach mcintyre so i thought let's get into peach real quick and really see what the backstory to all this mess is so let's go ahead and get into peach backstory real quick peach mcintyre was born april 18th 1989 making her 34 years old today she was born in tampa bay florida in the projects peaches have said that growing up she felt like her and her mama didn't have the best relationship and she felt mistreated by her it's also been said that both of her parents sold pharmaceuticals, if you know what I mean, and they made a good amount of money, and they was even driving a Cadillac. Now, Peach Daddy had 24 kids and 19 different baby mamas. So, of course, Peach didn't grow up knowing all her siblings, and she has said that growing up, she didn't really feel loved by anybody but her great granny. Peach was a middle child, and she said her father just really wasn't too present in her life. Now, Peach was always a hustler, it's even said that she used to take her mom a food stamp card and go to the store and buy water bottles and she would resell them and, you know, make a profit off that. So it's clear that Peach always just knew how to get to the money. It's said that Peach was very popular and well-liked. And when she was around 15 or 16, she met a man named Gregory, who she calls Wood. And Wood goes on to be the father of her seven children. Peach had her first child about a year after she met Wood, and this would be Wood's third child. But it's said that Wood was really not there for Peach financially or physically. But Peach did go on to graduate high school and she even attended community college. And her and Wood continued to have children together despite Wood not really being an active father. And at one point in time, Peach was even homeless with five children. And it's said that Wood drove right past her at the bus stop when she was outside at the bus stop with her kids. But Peach continued to take care of her kids and she was even a realtor for a few years. In 2014, Peach started her own waist training business called Waste Language, and she made six figures in the first nine months of operation. After this, Peach started to post her life on social media and how she came from nothing on various social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram, and she began to make money from social media as well. This is when she made online courses teaching others how to get money off social media as well. And this was another source of income for Peach. Peach started to post on YouTube about three years ago when the pandemic hit. And she would make videos like budget shopping on food stamps for her family of five, cooking videos, and she would give her viewers an insight on how she makes her money on social media as well as her business ventures. People enjoyed to watch Peach because she was really open and transparent. But what really blew Peach's channel up was a video that she posted of herself breastfeeding in public, which almost had 6 million views. She also started to make music, her first song being Hit A Likey Like. As her business and social media ventures really began to flourish, Peach really showed her upgrading her and her family's life. She bought them a new house and took them on several vacations. Now, when Peach first started posting on YouTube, she referred to herself as a single mother, but eventually she introduced her husband, Wood, to the channel. Now, when she started her YouTube, she already had five children, four boys and one girl, the oldest being Gregory, and she also has a daughter named Gorgeous, a son named Choice, McIntyre, and Amazing. She had another boy in 2021, and his name is Wonderful. And again, she got pregnant and gave birth to her seventh child, a boy named Phenomenal, in 2023. Now, Peach has had some scam allegations from the beginning. Some people say that they purchased a course and something prevented the course from happening and they never received a refund from it. And some people think her courses in general is a scam because she is constantly changing the price and having sales on them when she needs some extra money. And people think the information really isn't worth the price. But honestly, I feel like a lot of these influencers offer courses like this once they get a good amount of followers because it is a way to make some extra money. And they know that people are always looking for ways to make easy money. So they go and create an online course and sell it to people, claiming it has everything that you need to start making fast money. And once you buy it, you really just see it's a lot of information that you could have found yourself. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a scam. It's just a way to make money. It's up to the buyer if they want to spend their money on an online course. And she does deliver the course 
So I wouldn't call this a scam, but if something looks too good to be true, it usually is. Now recently, Peaches and Wood have been going viral on TikTok because of struggles in their marriage. About two months ago, Peach came to YouTube to address the truth on their marriage, and she expressed that Wood has not been pulling his weight in their marriage, and she is the main provider, and she also announced that they were in debt, and it was up to her to fix it. She states that Wood refuses to work or even do content so he can get paid off social media too. She built up Wood's platforms for him and she says that he refuses to post or make content even though she basically handed him a way to make money. She also says that he just wants to gamble all day and he doesn't really help much with the kids. But she also does admit that she gambles quite often as well but she's trying to cut it down. A lot of people do point out that her and Wood do go to the casino a lot and they probably do have some type of gambling habit. She also explains that Wood doesn't get up early or tend to their kids. She says that he leaves at night after she comes home from working. But people that have been keeping up with Peach and Wood before TikTok know that this is a repeated storyline and this is definitely not the first time that Peach has said that she's done with Wood. It's also noted that Peach lost her waist training business because she was so depressed because her and Wood had split because she caught him being, you know, not faithful to her in their relationship. So she was so depressed, this caused her to lose her waist training business. And she said that the only person that helped her during this time was her father. When I was going through my darkest moments in my life, up to this day, I feel like that was a really, really dark time. I mean, I done went through that again. But at that moment, that was my first time going through like a serious depression. I was an adult with a baby and this man ain't want me no more. Like I was so heartbroken. And my daddy used to come sit with me every single day and sit with me and talk to me about life. And talk, he used to um, listen to my poems because I write poetry. I used to write poetry and music and rap back then. And he used to listen to my music and stuff. But when I was going through that, my daddy used to come sit with me every day and like just talk to me and like pray with me and um, just keep me company. He never judged me. He never judged, never bashed. He just listened and he did have that for me. So I appreciate him for that. Now Peach started to really get active on TikTok and she would come on TikTok vlogging her day-to-day -day life with her famous intro. That lady divorcing her husband and she got seven kids until eventually it changed back to that lady has a husband and seven kids now her tiktok viewers were really disappointed in peach and confused on why she didn't go through with the divorce but like i said before anybody that knows peach knows that this isn't anything new for her now like i mentioned before peach does sell online courses and on september 22nd 2023 Peach and Wood was out to eat and they ran into somebody that bought Peach's course and was told that she would receive a refund, but she never received it. Of course, the girl instantly recognized Peach and asked her for her refund, but Peach refused. So they get into it and start arguing. In the video, you can see Peach and old girl going back and forth, all while her husband Wood can be seen in the back sitting down minding his business. Now, people was upset at Peach for causing a scene and cussing out one of her supporters that obviously was supporting her by buying one of her classes. And she simply just wanted a refund because the class never happened. And the supporter did say that Peach started with her and started cussing at her first. Giving everybody a partial refund, this is how much the refunds is, that I'm an issue. So I do, I owe some people refunds, I admit that. But right now, I'm not processing no money because I don't got no more money to give for refunds for that class. When I get it, when I get paid again and get it, I finish refunding them. Fuck you, you're not even entitled to a refund. See what happened. They just feel like, oh, she just saw her in public and she just decided to be fanned out and cuss Peach out. Baby, I was cussed out first. It ain't like I'm cussing somebody out who ain't cussed me out first. I was still being respectful. I was just like, hey, Peach, you know, I'm trying to figure out what happened with my money. I see your comment. I see you keep commenting on my stuff. Oh, I see you. That's how she was going in. Now, a couple of days after this, Peach Mama was at the casino and she ended up getting into a physical altercation with two people that were at first believed to be Peach supporters. But these two females did come out and make a video saying they really didn't know who Peach was. They kind of just got into it with her mama. But the details on the incident are still unclear. And Peach did make a response to this incident. I get on TikTok and people saying about mama getting a fight. Then I get on YouTube and I see a comment. So I'm like, well, what? what's going on? When was this? You know, so I call my sister and I'm like, she like, hello, like her voice is gone. And I'm like, Drew, what is this? People talking about mama was fighting in the casino. She was, and I tried to call you. And I'm like, well, I don't answer my phone. Like, so she sends me the video. Me and Wood watched the video. And I didn't call to check on my mama. For those of you who don't know, I don't fuck with my mama and I don't fuck with my daddy. 
I don't deal with them because she keeps saying I'm a liar. She lied on me. She lied. Now she's saying, she lied. I ain't make her bathe in my dirty bath for the Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I'm not taking that bath. I've been saying that for years. At the end of the day, that had absolutely nothing to do with me. I hope y'all understand that. That has absolutely nothing to do with me. For those of you who saying, did you call and check on her? No, I don't give a fuck about my mama. I don't love her. I don't told y'all that. I don't know why y'all think it's different. I do not love my mama. I do not love my daddy. I have come to grips with that. My great-grandmother died in 2015. My great-grandmother is who raised me. My great-grandmother is one of the only people in my life that has showed me love. Now, Peach's dad did end up getting diagnosed with colon cancer, and he did sadly end up passing from this. Now, since her father's passing, Peach has been seen acting really strange on social media about the whole situation and just not like how a daughter would act. A lot of her viewers felt like it was just a really strange and disturbing reaction to her father's death. It just seems like Peach was in really good spirits and almost happy by this news. Please be advised that I am not going to William, AKA Pete Demet McIntyre funeral. I never was going. They wanted me to come see them and I wouldn't go. Why would I go see them be put in the ground? I wouldn't death. If you really follow me, you know I don't go to nobody's funeral. Cousins and all. I don't go. Everybody knows that. I haven't been to a funeral since my great grandma died. Anybody else died, if, as long as they ain't in my house, that would be the only funeral I would go to. Anybody outside of here, you die, I don't give a fuck. I'm not coming. I'm not sending you no roses. None of that. I'm not coming. I don't care. Now, Peach's blood sister, Akasha, came to the internet to discuss this, and she had a few allegations against Peach. You see around glorifying off somebody's death that actually had love for your ass, and you choose to be an evil, spiteful, nasty, through your choice, and you like to sit on the computer and paint narratives, so everybody can um sit around and feel sorry for your ass. All these guilt trips and lies on people, beat your face black and blue. My brother was about to fight him so many times for him beating your face black and blue, so he realized you gonna constantly go back to the boy, so why the fuck be mad at the boy for? You like your face black and blue. Ever since you started fucking when he was beating the shit out of you. When you bought him a car and he rolled past you at the bus stop. When you bought him a car and you even buy yourself a car and he rolled past you and y'all kids at the bus stop. You chose to be a clown. We told you don't do that. We been told you to stop having kids from that boy. That's your choice. So not your mama ain't take care of you and all that. Girl, your mama was a dope dealer. Your mama had money. Your mama took care of you. The true facts of it all. Because we stayed on Sims and Gregory stayed one street over. He wanted to fuck our other sisters. They ain't want to deal with him. So he wanted to fuck the bitch underneath them. The fact that it was going to press us. We weren't never pressed. Oh, we love her. We have but this girl sit around and brag about her, her boyfriend beating the shit out of her mom. Wood hit my mama in the head with, a, with her face. Actually, she had like a black eye or something. I don't know. He did. He threw the bottle at her and hit her. He didn't just walk up and bam, he threw it and it hit her. Uh, my mom them called the police. Wood went to jail. They caught him downstairs. He went to jail and she pressed charges. I wouldn't press charges on him. So I won't press charges on him and I keep talking to him. My mama get mad. She like, you talking to a that done. Um, black my eye, he done hit your mama and I was saving you. You got to choose between him and me. I pick Wood. I'm going to keep talking to Wood. I love Wood more than I love you. Now, as y'all can see, her sister definitely came with some bold allegations against Peach. That Peach is lying to her supporters and she grew up better than what she made it seem. And that she used to steal and even stole the business ideas from another one of her sisters. She even claims that Wood wanted Peach sisters before Peach. She also claims that Wood had been abusing Peach from the jump and she would always go back so they stopped defending her and let her do what she wanted. The sister also made the point that if Peach didn't like her dad that bad, why would she continue to carry on his name? And she even named one of her sons McIntyre, which is her dad's last name. Now, Peach did make a response to this video and she also made some allegations against her brother who had made a video about her as well. So I just seen the latest video that Pierre Marcellus McIntyre made about me, a.k.a. Akasha Bentley, a.k.a. Keish. <laughs> and I just want to say that it was laughable. The fact that you're saying I'm jealous that Wood wanted your sisters because they shaped better than me, etc. Baby, I didn't even know Wood knew your sisters when I met him. I never walked around claiming your sisters to be my sisters. Never did. I met Wood at Chamberlain High School. I'm not jealous of their bodies. If I wanted my body done, I could get it done. But I will say this to my sister Takashi, aka China, Sty China Styles, when I just got on Instagram and I seen you and Pierre in that car together saying mad hoes, mad hoes, and you laughing, that hurt me so bad, Takashi. I'm just going to keep it G with you. Like, girl, that hurt me so bad. And I want to hurt your feelings as well. Because let's remember, you don't know who your daddy is. Let's remember that while you're siding with Keish. 
while you siding with Keisha, while you want to get in the middle of this on your Instagram, your intent was to hurt my feelings. And it worked. My intent now is to hurt your feelings back. Remember, Peaches is vengeful. You don't know who your daddy is. Remember, you have three possible fathers. My sister on my mama's side also went to Middleton High School at the same time as them. So all of them went to Middleton. My mama went and let me go to Middleton. She said I was weak and I act like a white person. So I would not fit in. So she would not let me go to Middleton. YouTubers, well, I know it's been a while since I updated. It's been about two weeks. And I have had my baby. <laughs> Um, he was born January 23rd. I stayed at Chamberlain High School. So in high school, you did not know me. I just wanted people to love me. I was always easy to manipulate, and I always let people use me. Let's just call a spade a spade. I can own it. I'm not ashamed of it. I used to clean to Shar house. She would pay me $100, and I would clean her whole house and do her laundry for $100. I was always the sister at the bottom. Now I'm the sister at the top. If I was jealous because I was the sister at the bottom, y'all jealous because I'm the sister at the top now. I don't understand why y'all trying to make it seem like I'm lying so bad. Just just face it. Y'all thought that y'all was going to break me. Y'all tried to so hard during my childhood. But the black sheep has turned pink unicorn. Or as some would say, the black sheep has turned into the goat. All of the things y'all did to me, I remember. Look at her now. People actually love me. Like, people send me stuff. People listen to me when I speak. Oh, I know that hurt y'all so. Y'all was so mean and nasty and evil to me. Oh, talk about that time when, when you had me and one going there casting bad checks for you weak ass hoes so you can pay your motherfucking bills. Tell about when you was fucking all oh, my our cousin twins, auntie nigga. Huh? Your husband fucking the teacher. She go to a home and stuff and this nigga go to her, his mom house. Tell her how you had to swallow off a choice hoe because you didn't know who his daddy was. Yeah, she called HRS on me. She called HRS on me because I was at work. My son, my son, mama, they didn't go pick him up from school. So she called HRS on, she called HRS on me and my, uh, me and my son, mama. So as y'all can see, Peach's brother claimed that Wood has been cheating on Peach with their child's teacher and that Peach caught HRS, which is like CPS in Florida, on her brother's kids. Now, this wouldn't be the first time that there was some cheating allegations against Wood. Last year, there was a lady on YouTube named Fifi, and she was claiming to be Wood's side chick. And this lady went as far to even call CPS on Peach. How may I assist you today? Yes, I am trying to make a child report. Okay. And it's from my uh, sister. Okay, um, what's going on? So, okay, so she has a YouTube channel, and we just lost our father. So she's been like, posting everything like she basically gonna harm everybody harm me my mother um my father's other siblings at the funeral this is like a whole lot that's going on and so she's just been like posting constantly crazy um talking crazy look, like looking crazy looking like she has not you know bathed for days um because she has a husband that's living there but he's kind of like mentally challenged it seems like some of peach's supporters are really starting to catch her slipping and overall not really making any sense and some of them even think that she is the true narcissist and it also just seems like a lot of her old supporters are not starting to support her anymore because they say she really let the money get to her head and she's just not the same peach she used to be she's not humble and she's always talking about how much money she's making which I get because it's part of her content as well as promoting her classes. But a lot of people just miss the humbleness that she used to have. A lot of viewers also think that she's showing a lot of signs of some mental health issues. Now, since her daddy passed, she has been in the mix a lot because she has just really been pressing the fact that she would not be in attendance at his funeral. And sure enough, the funeral did come and go and she was not in attendance. Now, a lot of people think that Peach wasn't going because she knew that everybody from her daddy's side of the family would be there. And she had been on the internet talking about all these folks and she really didn't want no smoke with them. Now, just recently, Peach did just get into it with Wood again and she claimed that she was putting him out the house for real this time. And she made a video addressing Wood's mama, calling her house a shack and making some pretty serious allegations and overall just telling all they business. You know, and that's fine. He can go move back over to his mammy shack with his brother Dante that used to touch on his sister Dree. How do I know that? Cause Dree told Wood and she was crying and saying how much she hate Dante. Now she got to live there with her kids and Dante. And then on top of that, 
how his brother Meek lives there. Meek works and don't pay bills, and um, his mama complains to Wood about it. And his nephew Mookie worked, uh, lived there. I don't know what Mookie do. I ain't got nothing bad to say about Mookie. He ain't never did nothing to me. And then Sophia with her little dirty room and her little raggedy house. <laughs> you don't like me. Why would you take Wood off your cell phone plan for Peaches telling the truth? Wood is moving back with you like the rest of your children. Just like Dre is there and Meek is there and Dante is there and your grandson Mookie is there. You better make room for Wood. Sophia, go turn that boy's phone back on. She also spoke out on Wood's oldest son, basically saying that Wood don't want to be in his life and that she gave him $50,000 and Wood didn't do nothing for his son. And she was really just speaking down on Wood's oldest son, which a lot of people didn't like. And Peach has came online and said that she does not care. She does not care about Wood's other kids, period, because she has problems with the baby mothers. He not with he not doing for them because of me, because of me, because of me. They mama saying that it's because of peaches. It's cause bitch, I have to make this nigga do for my kids. Make it like I'm the bad guy. That nigga ain't in his kid's life because he don't want to be in his kid's life. That's not my fault. That is Wood's fault. If y'all daddy wanted to do for y'all when I gave him fifty thousand dollars in cash, he would have did for y'all. That little boy got in my comments on TikTok and said, "My grandma ain't you. My gr my grandma. It ain't my grandma's fault. You like that little boy? Get the." F off my page i blocked them i'm gonna spare you but it's things look great that you don't know see now we finna go there let's go there when your mama said that she didn't want want to be your mama no more and she left you at sophia house look greg it's more i could tell you boy if i wanted to break you down if i wanted to break you and your mama down do you know what i could say this little bit ass child support your child support is what 369 dollars a month 79 dollars a week some shit like that you're on section eight you get food stamps uh why was other children not a part of your family Cause I don't give a fuck about nobody sharing but mine. How about that? Screen record that. I don't give a fuck about nobody kids but mine. If I didn't push them out, fuck them. It's also noted that she named her oldest son Gregory, even though Wood already has a junior. So some thought that was a messy move from Peach to begin with. But currently, Peach and Wood is back good and she's back on live bragging about how good Wood's D is. And she also said that she doesn't care what Wood does. As long as he comes home to her, Wood can have whatever he wants. Overall, I feel like it's just a really messy and sad situation. A lot of this stuff did not have to hit the internet. But of course, this is how Peach and Wood make their money. So it does make you think, is this real? Or do they really just up the antics for views? Some viewers think that Peach is the problem. They see her as a narcissist because she can never really make herself not the victim in the situation some viewers feel like wood is the problem you know he needs to step up and help peach out in the household but i feel like either way it go peach allows this behavior and continues to go in circles with wood knowing what it leads to to me i feel like peach has a trauma bond with wood she feels like since she went through so much with wood and they have seven kids together she has to make it work instead of leaving honestly i'm wishing everybody in this situation the best i really hope they can sort this marriage out and, you know, try to make something work for the kids. It's all about the kids. Y'all do have seven of them. So, you know, it's all about them. But thank y'all so much for watching my video and you made it to the end. Please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helped me out a lot. If y'all can't tell, I'm tired. I'm ready to eat. I'm starving. I've been making videos. So, yeah, I'm going to go do that. But I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.